In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an automation in active campaign to create a double opt in for your free courses where a user has to first confirm their email address before an automation kicks in to trigger account creation and enrollment in a free Thrive Apprentice product. This is a terrific way to create a free course automation to grow your email list and generate leads while cutting out all of the spam that you're going to get. Now, if you haven't already, be sure to watch the video just before this one, because I show you in that video how to create and enroll a user and add them to a Thrive Apprentice product from an active campaign automation that sends a webhook over to Thrive Automator that then starts that whole enrollment process. We're going to build upon that. So you'll have already created that first part of your automation from the previous video. Here we are in Active Campaign in a fresh automation. I figure it might be easiest for you to follow along. And again, you can check the previous video for all of the Thrive Automator components. So our automation is going to trigger from a tag being added. And the tag that's going to trigger this automation is our free course tag. And we're going to run this one multiple times and click Add Start. Now, just a reminder, the user gets into our Active Campaign automation funnel through ConvertBox. Inside of ConvertBox, go ahead and close that. When a user fills out the form in this ConvertBox, they're getting added to the free theme builder course. Under form settings, integrations, you can see that I have an active campaign integration that tags them. ConvertBox integrates beautifully with Active Campaign, as most things do, it makes it super easy. So if you like something that just works and it's pretty quick, this is a great product to pair with it. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to send an email and we need to create an email to get started. I like to call this email the double opt-in email. I'm gonna go ahead and put demo next to mine and click create. For our email, we'll go ahead and choose classic and then continue. And then I've already saved a template for my double opt-in. We'll go ahead and select this one and I'll just show you some of the components of mine. Give yours a subject. We'll say, confirm your email address, click continue. And here's an example of what I send out when I want a user to register their email. I say, hey, first name, I'm glad you enrolled in my free course. There's so much waiting for you inside. Before you can join us, you'll need to confirm your email address. And this is just a link to the confirmation page for my course. If I open that in a new tab, here's what the user sees. This essentially would have been what someone used to see right when they filled out my convert box form. I used to send them right here and say, hey, you're all set. You're good to go. Welcome to the course. Check your email. I sent you your account credentials. But now I'm not sending them here until they click on that link in their email. Instead, let me show you the page they get to when they fill out that convert box form. This right here is what they see when they fill out that form. It says there's one more step, confirm your email. And then I tell them stuff like, in order to keep out the bots and the spammers, I require you to confirm your email. Click on any link in that email, it's on its way. Let me know if you don't get it. And if we jump back here, this is that email inside of Active Campaign. Now, what's cool about this, this is just that link to my normal course confirmation page that I've shown you how to build many times. You can click on the link here. I made a button, click on that link. Any link they click on, it doesn't matter. They're all going to go to the same place and they're all going to confirm and validate that email address. Because if they get this email, then they have a valid email and it's one that I'm going to let them use to access my free course. So when you've written up your email and you're ready to go, you can go ahead and click next. Finalize any settings you want here, then click finish. All right, and now we're ready to go to the next step in our double opt-in sequence. Now what we wanna do is add a new condition, click this plus sign, go to conditions and workflow and we want to add a wait condition. We're going to wait until specific conditions are met. So choose this option, the second one there. And the condition is that the user under actions has clicked on a link. And the campaign that we're going to choose is the one that we've just created here. So click on this drop down and select the campaign that we've just created. Remember, I called mine double opt in email demo. And the link that they click on is any link. So if they're able to open that email and click on a link, they've confirmed their email. And then we click save. Now we need to choose what that time limit is. Well, I think that we are going to wait up to seven days. So they have seven days from the time they filled out the opt-in to open their email, click on a link and get access to the course. After that, we're gonna boot them off our list because they're probably spammers. And then we'll click save. Now we need to do a condition. And that's basically going to check, did they click on something? So we're going to put that condition here and the condition will be an if else. 
the action will be has clicked on a link inside of the campaign that we created just here, any link. We'll go ahead and click add. And if yes, what we're going to do is we're going to go to contacts and we're going to add a tag to this user. I've created a tag called status email confirmed. So if they click on a link in that email within seven days, then what's going to happen is they're going to be given a tag called status email confirmed. And that means that I know that they've confirmed their email. And in the future, if I had other lead magnets, I could just check to see if their email status was confirmed already and proceeded without having to go through into the previous steps. So it's just something nice that I want to start doing in my email list to get people confirmed with their email addresses. Now, the next step is going to be what we built in the previous video, which is to send a webhook because now we're going to send the webhook to Thrive Automator to start the account creation process. For that, we're going to go to conditions and workflow, choose webhook, paste in our webhook that Thrive Automator gave us, click save. And after that, we want to send them maybe a welcome email or a nurture email, some sort of sequence that lets them know that they're in the course. We know that they got their account creation email. I showed you that in the last video, but this one says, hey, welcome to the free course. Here's specific information about what you signed up for. So we're going to click the plus symbol. We're going to go to sending options and send an email. We're going to create a new email. We're going to give this email a name. We'll call this TTP free course. I'm going to put demo in here so that I know it's just the demo I'm creating for this. We'll click create. We'll go ahead and choose a classic template, click continue. And I've already created uh, an email here that I've used in the past. We'll go ahead and select the free training confirmation email template. And we'll give this a headline such as welcome to the TTB free training, but demo just for my own sake and click continue. And now in this email, I'm just welcoming them. Like I said, welcome to the free training. Here's what you're going to learn. Here's how you log in. This is what to expect. It's just one of those emails that's nice to get that helps you, that helps the user get from point A to point B. When you've written your welcome email or you're satisfied with what you got, go ahead and click next and then click finish. And now from this point on, it's up to you. You could add in another conditional statement that asks, did they upgrade to the full version of your course or not? And you can even work in some awesome scarcity with something like a deadline funnel. If you're interested in seeing that video, leave me a comment down below and let me know. And I'll build upon this tutorial to show you how I've built in deadline funnel and some other extra cool things to this automation. So what I wanna do under the no section is I want to prune this person off of my list if they are not a confirmed user. Now I need to check if they're a confirmed user, maybe from another one of my automations, but I don't want to purge them from my list if they have confirmed previously or if they're a paying customer or for whatever reason, if they should still be on my list. So I'm going to add another check just to make sure that they don't have that status confirmed. So I'll say if else, we're going to check to make sure that if the contact details tag exists, and then for this tag, we want to do status email confirmed, click add. And if they have confirmed, whether through this automation or any other automation, then we're just going to end this automation here. So we're safe. They're not purged from our list. This automation just simply ends for these users. And you know, while we're at it, we can also add end this automation here as well. If no, meaning if they don't have status confirmed, and again, you could change this. This doesn't have to be status confirmed. This could be paying customer. Whatever your tagging is, you adapt this to you. But this is how I manage mine. So if they don't have this, that means they filled out this for the first time with an email address that has not been confirmed. They sat around for seven days. They're probably a bot or a spammer or someone that just, I don't know why they didn't confirm their email. So I want to purge them from my list. So I'm going to add an action under contacts. I'm going to unsubscribe them all of my lists. So they're going to unsubscribe from all lists and I'm going to click save and then click okay to confirm. And then after that, I'm going to end the automation with conditions and workflow and this automation. Let's take a quick look again at the big picture. They fill out a form, however they get tagged, I tag them for my free course. I send them a, hey, verify your email, click any link. I wait seven days for that to happen. Then I check, do they have it? If yes, confirm their email with a tag, send the webhook over to Thrive Automator, send them that nurture sequence email that says, welcome, here's what to expect, here's how to get started. 
and the automation. And again, let me know if you want to see some more on this side. On the other hand, if they did not click on a link in that email, then I'm going to check, have they been confirmed previously or do they have a tag that's really important to me? If yes, go ahead and end the automation for whatever reason they didn't click on a link. If no, then they've never interacted with my business. They're probably a bot or a spammer that can't confirm their email address. Unsubscribe them from all of my lists. I don't want them taking up space on my list and end the automation. That's a pretty cool automation that I started using for Convology because I was getting a lot of bot spam. I was getting probably somewhere between five to 10 people a day. And again, a lot is relative, right? Five to 10 people a day were filling this out, probably bots, maybe spammers using burner emails. And it was just becoming annoying looking at all those accounts in my email list and being like, I don't want, I don't want to be paying for these, or I don't want this bloating my website. I don't want accounts automatically being created for spammers. Because what's really cool here, I want to point out if we jump back over and I'll leave myself in a pip here in the bottom right. If we look at this step here, it's not until they've confirmed their email that we even create their account. And that's what's so cool about this. The spammers and the bots aren't going to get accounts on your website. They're not going to be granted access to your stuff. They have to confirm it first. And again, there's so many cool things we could do at the other end of that. Yes, they were confirmed line. We could add scarcity. We could add additional nurture sequences. And there's a lot more cool stuff there. So let me know if you're interested in learning more about that. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I create lots of different tutorials and I have plenty more coming up for Active Campaign, Thrive Apprentice, and all of this great tech stack stuff. But that's it for me in this video. I'm Doug at Convology and I'll see you in the next one.